Hey, Scott, just how would you characterize this road trip for you guys going uh, four and two? Um, all a trip. You know, it's a, it was a tough travel trip. A lot of started off in Florida, ended up in California with a few other states in, in between. Um, thought we played pretty solid. We could have, you know, a, a play go, go our way. In Tampa, but I thought I thought we we came out with a great disposition to finish strong. We talked about this morning in our meeting. We gave them hope throughout the game with our turnovers. Uh, but yeah, but I thought it was a very good road trip, solid. And uh, Brad was just on uh, the broadcast uh, in an interview and said that he, he feels like he's catching his rhythm. Um, what have you seen from him lately in that regard? Yeah, I mean that's it. I mean, we're 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 gonna go with, when Brad plays well. We're gonna be we're tough to beat when we're healthy. We're healthy now. We just need to keep stay well remain healthy and just keep this rhythm. Um. But yeah, he's 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 a shot maker all over the floor, and that's the fun thing about coaching Brad. I can, I can put him in so many different opportun or different ways to score, and he and he and he finds ways, and he helps our teammates. His teammates find ways to score but he's in a he's in a nice rhythm but he's I mean come on let's face it he's been in a pretty nice rhythm all year when he has a bad game that's I mean all the great players have bad games but he's been in a he's been in a he's been great Ava hey Scott I um I think you guys are something like a game out of the uh the play in tournament now and Brad also mentioned that on his on his interview but um, I know your guys' mindset has kind of been pretty steady throughout the season, but for this team that's been through so much, what does it mean for you guys to now be fighting and in that position um, after just all that you've gone through this year and, and all the injuries and everything? I, I, I love it. I love the, I mean, it's definitely been a, it's been a challenge, uh, not only physically of what the players have been through, but mentally it's been challenging, you know, Get a rhythm and then something happens. Get another rhythm and then another setback. But that's 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 life. You gotta you gotta get back up and and keep charging forward and moving forward and and not complain about what happened and take advantage of what is about to happen. And you keep that attitude in the right in the, in the right place. It always works out. Um, very rarely that it doesn't. But I, I like I like our toughness. What we all the adversity we go through. It's going to help us down the stretch. I mean, I know I follow the league. I follow the games. I watch all the games, league pass you know, every night. And, you know, I know where we are. We, but we focus on 18 games left. We've had, we've had a nice stretch of games. And, but most importantly, is focus on, you know, the, the Pelicans coming up. Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, hey. Not... Not much netto tonight. Uh, I'm wondering if you can explain explain why and and also um, you know did you learn anything on a related note while Ish was out about your guard rotation that you're now implementing now that he's back? No, I mean uh, going into the game, I didn't anticipate uh, netto only playing four minutes. Uh, Ish Ish was in a nice rhythm. Um, He's going to play more. I mean, I, I was trying to figure out ways on the fly to get him in, but we had some nice rhythm uh, going. He was going to go into the game early in the fourth quarter, but we extended that lead, I think, to 15. So I wanted to stay with that group. He's been great all year. And I'm not, that's, he's like the last person I'm concerned with because his attitude has always been on point. He wants to play. He's super, super ultra. Uh, he's a fierce competitor, uh, but he, he'll play more next game. Zach. Coach, it seems like Russ is really, you know, getting to the rim and, and shooting less of the mid range outside of his little bank shot spot. Have you guys kind of, you know, had enough film at this point with, with the roster, just be like, you know, talk to him about his shot selection a little bit. Yeah. With, with Russell, I, I focus on, on how I can put guys around them. That's been, that's been, you know, challenging with all the things that have happened. But I, I like what we have. We have a really good team with a lot of uh, good players. And some players need experience, and they're getting it game by game. 
but he, he's good when he attacks. Let's face it, he's one of the el he's the elite at attacking. Uh, tonight is rare that he didn't get to to the free throw line much, which surprises me. But some nights are going to be like that. His mid range is this pull up. He, he that's a sweet spot for him. Been around it long enough. There's at times where he might take a couple too many, but look what he does. You know, it's I focus on the the body of work, what he brings. I mean, it's 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 really so it's. We've all been kind of so used to the triple doubles, but I mean, I played uh, that position and to see what he does in every night, I've seen it now for eight years. It's, it's extraordinary that he does it and he brings it every night. And it doesn't matter if it's a back-to-back, -back. doesn't matter if it's the last game of the road trip, it doesn't matter. He, he's, the guy is, he brings it. And the people that criticize him because he takes too many mid-range, the analytics guys, they obviously don't know how to play the game um, or don't understand the game as, 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 as some of our guys see it. But I, I love how he plays. All right, a couple more here, Neil. Scott, how would you assess Denny's ability to move without the ball? It seemed like he had a lot of cuts today um, that helped him get success. Yeah, he, he's so. getting better. It's, it's all it's timing cutting is cutting the, the the best cutters have great timing you just can't cut randomly because when when guys are when we got some dynamic playmakers sometimes if you cut the wrong time you you cut into their lanes and 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 there's times trust me i've i've seen it and i've and we're working through it with danny's cuts but i thought tonight was i thought one maybe two for sure, one that he probably should have spaced out, but he but he's he's going to be able to be doing both of them as he continues to develop his his jump shot. But his, he's got the good size. Um, but I I thought his cuts were good tonight. All right, we'll finish up with Penny. Hey, coach. Uh, also regarding to Denny, um, I wanted to know what is your thought about your thought of about um, he's struggling from uh, beyond the arc and we're seeing some kind of a roller coaster from him uh, especially on the defensive side uh, sometimes doesn't know um, maybe when to create the contact what are your thoughts and what are you telling him as a coach um, to do or not to do to adjust to the NBA game yeah I mean one one there's there's high level athletes at that position coming at him and we switch a lot so there's going to be He's going to be guarding one through fours. And as he gets more experience, he's going to become better at it. There's nights where he's pretty good. Like tonight, I thought he had some really good moments on some really quick guards. And then tonight, he had some bad moments. But that's that's part of growing in this league. Rookies, second year, third year players, they go through these things. And and you got to, the mental, the mental toughness has to prevail. And you can't just always, you can't get down to yourself game the game because if you do it becomes it becomes a roller coaster ride and I've been down that road myself and you got to just focus on just playing hard and doing what the coaches ask and he does you know there he, he's not trying to get scored on he's not trying to foul but I thought I thought he did better tonight uses he has a big body and and you don't he doesn't need to be handsy and and he gets a lot of his fouls by by putting his hands up and putting the the last minute touching the guy's arms and let them shoot over his strong body. And then and when he does, I thought he did that tonight, like four or five times and their guards couldn't score over him. But he, like I said with Danny, he's, he's got to keep taking these minutes and, and, and getting better every night. Hey, Denny, uh, it looked like you had a lot of success moving without the basketball today, cutting things like that. Scott was talking about, you know, it's with your timing is getting better and things like that. How is that uh, pr progressed for you um, in your rookie season? I think pr progressed really good. Um, in the beginning, beginning of the season, I was kind of passive. I thought, um, I know, I'll get the ball like sometimes. Um, but um, I just, I was telling myself just to be more active, uh, helping my teammates, be there to help Russ when he get trapped. Be there when when Brad uh, is penetrating and, and a lot of guys is uh, a lot of guys are on him. 
So for me, the movement out of the ball, it helps also my teammates to release release pressure and make the defense worry about me. So, I mean, um, just trying to stay active, uh, get the ball, and be more efficient. So, yeah. Chase. Hey, Denny, uh, you've been really positive throughout this season about what this team is capable of, um, you know, even when you guys are losing, saying you know that you guys are good. So what's it been like to, to these last five games as you guys have sort of turned things around and had some positive momentum? I think um, we just know each other better. I think our chemistry uh, is better from the beginning of the season. We play more together. We share the ball. We move the ball. I think everybody knows his role. Um, a lot of guys are stepping up. Well, we had a couple of injuries here and there. So uh, the guys st- the guys who uh, uh, who uh, should have st- stepped up, stepped up. And I think we're in a good uh, position right now. We, we need to keep fighting, uh, keep defending. We've been, we'd, we'd be defending better in the last couple of games and um, just continue with the positivity no matter what. Even if we're in a losing streak, winning streak, just keep our head in the game, so. Zach. Danny, I remember, you know, when you were drafted, you were very much so like, I hate losing. Losing is the worst. Um, now that the team is playing a little bit better, I guess more so for the second time this season in this stretch. What have you found, you know, the up and down uh, roller coaster this season has been like for you uh, mentally, just <laughs> battling that winning, the developing and everything? Um, it, it's hard. I mean, uh, a lot of people don't understand it. It's not easy uh, to be a rookie, especially in this in this time, COVID time. Uh, you play every other day. Um, you meet new players every day. Um, so so it's not it's not really easy. You know, some sometimes your shot shots are falling more, sometimes less. And I, I've seen it throughout the season. Um, but I'm, I, the thing the thing I do is uh, do the things I, I I can and I do good. So it's moving without the ball, uh, preparing for my shot. Um, keep working hard uh, after games or before games. So, you know, this this kind of roller coaster doesn't get, doesn't get in my head because I, I'm doing the habits I, I, I usually do. I'm working very hard, and, and I know it's just time and experience. Uh, everything will be uh, stable and in balance and all going to be good. So not worrying about that. Quinn. Hey, Denny, I don't know if it was the end of the second or the third quarter, but on defense, you had the challenge of checking the Aaron Fox, ISO 101, and Tyrese Halliburton on, in the same possession, and you got stops on both of those guys. Can you tell me about how you've mentally improved your defense? Have you been watching film, in, any more film on guys like that who you know are just speedsters, and, and just how have you just taken on the challenge of even though you're getting called for some fouls, which I think are not fouls, but we can talk about that later. Um, how have you adjusted to the way the, the NBA is, has officiated for you and just playing, I would call it high quality defense on some of the league's best offensive players? So first of all, I have a lot of coaches beside me to do a great, to, to, has, has done a great job to watch film with me and explain me how to correct things. Because how you defend in the NBA is way different than how to defend overseas. I mean, um, I needed to sort of like readjust my defense how I'm positioning myself, how where my my hands should should be. Uh, me and me and Russ even talked about it in the morning because I had a, a a foul trouble in in Utah, so he gave me a couple of tips so uh, how to how to defend without fouling. Uh, but you know, it, it sometimes it's frustrated. I mean, um, you know, throughout the season, I think I had a problem with fouling. Then I was really efficient on defense, and and I had a stretch that I wasn't fouling at all, and then. You had a Utah game that was crazy. So you really need to watch out. But uh, all around, I think um, a lot of guys around me do a great job of correcting me. And I'm, I'm just, I like taking the challenges. So it's not, it's not a lot of times e- easy for me uh, to defend those guys, but I'm taking the challenge and I do what I can. So, yeah. Uh, Russ, can you talk a little bit about the chemistry with Denny? He was making some cuts without the ball today and you found him early. Uh, yeah, he's learning. You know, he, he'll learn and figure out his spots and pick his spots where he can be effective, sometimes cutting, sometimes stand space. Um, and uh, he did a bad job of that tonight. Uh, I think he also mentioned that uh, you were talking to him uh, uh, about uh, his uh, foul trouble uh, issues with, you know, against the, the Jazz the other day. Um, yeah. 
like what, what you know uh how is that going you know him you, you being sort of a mentor to him um you know it's a process you know, my job is to make sure good or bad um, i encourage um as much as i can and try to teach him things that i know about the game uh, to help him better his game thanks a lot yeah michael You there, Michael? Michael ain't there. Michael's got his hand raised, but uh, we'll go to Neil then. Hey, Russ. Uh, obviously, you know, the health of this team hasn't always been there this season, but you guys are healthy now. Where do you think that that's helped and you guys been able to hit your stride now here? Um, you know, that's a big part of it, but, you know, we just we got to make sure we go and play compete you know we want to make sure that we go compete and when we do that we put ourselves in position to, to win in any game that we play in have you maybe found more success in making sure that the team is ready to go and compete every night recently um yeah i mean especially when you win you gotta you know stay consistent this game is over get ready for the next one <laughs>